six quick edit video. Um, this episode will be a little bit different as I have quite some troubles with the shot right here. I'm going to have to experiment a lot with um, some of these pictures you can see below. So what I want to do is combine the picture with the bright foreground with a picture where we can see the northern lights. First I tried to work with layer masks in Photoshop but it didn't really look good so I'm trying to create a Lightroom HDR out of several pictures and hope it does look better. Therefore I'm going to select all the pictures I think maybe of use for the HDR image. Now there is still a lot of noise going on in the foreground which I really don't like. Uh, but I'm going to fix it somehow. First thing, I'm going to change the white balance because it looks way too yellow. And then I'm going to do the basic camera calibration things I'm always doing. And also going to add the lens correction. I try to get more detail out of the dark areas in the foreground, therefore I'm going to push the shadows all the way to the right. And I think I also add a graduated filter to add more exposure to the foreground. And I might change the white balance of the foreground even a bit more. Now I want to bring the northern lights out a bit more. Therefore I'm going to use another graduated filter. And add a lot of clarity here and also maybe some highlights and reduce shadows and a bit of contrast maybe and I'm also going to add a bit of overall clarity to the picture now I think there's a bit too much blue in it so I'm going to reduce the saturation of the blue colors Maybe add a bit of luminance to the greens. I'm also going to add a bit of green color to the highlights in the split toning section to make it look more natural with the northern lights in the sky. And I try to sharpen it but not too much so I don't have problems with the noise later. And I'm also going to add a bit of noise reduction. Actually, I am quite bothered by the noise here in the foreground, so I'm going to try and fix it by using parts of this image here. Therefore, I created a layer mask and I'm going to fill it with a black color and mask out the areas um, which I want to use of the brighter foreground image. As you can see now, I reduced the noise here quite a little bit. So I'm going to merge those layers and I'm going to crop out the transparent border here. And now I can start working with basic filters from the Nick collection. I'm going to apply the white neutralizer filter um, to get rid of a bit of the yellow colorish tone, what's going on in the picture. Now I am going to add a bit of dynamic contrast using the Pro Contrast filter of the Nick collection. I am also going to apply the classical soft focus to give it a bit more of a glowy look. And I am going to mask out areas like the mountains, because I think the glow on the mountain side here just looks unnatural. 
Now I'm going to add some highlights to the picture, therefore I'm creating a new layer. I set the blending mode to overlay and, and I'm going to fill it with 50% uh, gray. Now if I choose something brighter than 50% gray and I'm going to brush on that overlay layer, the area gets brighter. If I use something darker than 50% gray, the area gets darker. Now I want to brighten up this bit behind the mountain range. Therefore, I'm using something brighter than 50% gray and carefully brush over the layer. I'm also going to add um, highlighted spots in the northern lights. I'm going to apply the classical soft focus filter once more just for the area behind this mountain range here. And now I'm also going to add a bit of noise reduction with the define tool. As you can see, the Define tool does a really great job at reducing noise um, while keeping things like the stars here really sharp. Okay, this is the final result. I hope this video was helpful for some of you. Um, thank you for watching.